Let's go ahead and take a look at this. 532 million. Hey guys, welcome back to another motion video. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys the best team to use in the League 8 Bounty Hunt. And this is for players that have access to the new Bounty Hunt exclusive monster. This video is for you, so I'm going to go ahead and let you guys know the best, best team to pair this new attacker with. So I hope you're all excited. If you are, make sure you drop a like, subscribe. Anyways, it's going to get started. I'm sure many of you guys out there that are watching this video, you are most likely a free-to-play player. And if you are and want to know the best free-to-play team, I can actually make that video for you guys. Just let me know in the comments down below if you guys do want me to do that for you guys because obviously i didn't purchase this monster on my account so therefore my account you know what i mean i can i can consider myself a free-to-play hey i haven't i haven't i haven't here's the thing i haven't actually invested in, in this game like i haven't purchased anything in the game for the past like five six months so i mean it's been a, it's been a while you know what i mean i haven't i haven't made any big purchases in this game uh so i consider myself a free-to-play what do you guys think just let me know in the comments down below but anyways so bunky went ahead and give me permission to actually um basically and uh you know gems on these uh stamens and stuff like that to uh do some bounty on our account so i'm gonna go ahead and do that real quick we're just gonna buy one because it is pretty expensive so anyways huge thanks to bunky by the way for um allowing me to make this video possible for you guys so here's the thing these arrows are pointing this way uh let's split it into maybe right here okay so that means it's towards this way if those are pointing upwards let's go ahead and let's see so it's pointing downwards can we do this this will tell us to either go down which means it could be somewhere over here okay and it's this one right here but so this one's pointing this way upwards is this one then come on man come on all right anyways we gotta find the fugitive monster here and i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the best setup in a second once we find this monster uh it's gonna take us a little bit because obviously there are not too many tiles that has been flipped uh normally it takes like a little bit for us to get to that point so if it's this then it's one of these two then yeah so it's either this tile right here okay and then my second guess would have been that one right there right above the previous loot so we got ourselves some abusive line cells with queen zara cells looks like this carlos player is actually he's like a bit active and actually helped us out a little bit with the with the tiles or maybe that was like previous I was previously because i didn't actually keep track on uh, like of his points so we went ahead and flipped a green bag out of nowhere okay what did we get okay so beast lines out with queen zara uh so with my previous video where i actually like I, like told you guys uh what monsters to go for in the shop like the best monsters to go for obviously i told you guys to watch out from basically almost every monster in the shop because none of them are really good but when it comes to the queen zara she does have a talent in the air saga and that's about it really the monster overall is not the best the only thing is the the talent in the era saga and that talent i feel like a little bit outdated too the i think it's like zara tree of life or something like that nobody really uses it if that's the one that i'm actually thinking of that's uh that's the one she has in her era saga you guys can correct me in the comments if i am actually wrong about that but if, it, if that's a talent then it's not really worth it honestly but that's up to you if you guys actually want to go for that uh let's quickly find this fugitive which is right here um and i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the attack setup that is best for this current uh current season so one of them is obviously rusty retail triple strength go with triple strength doesn't matter the runes well the higher level the more strength the more damage you're going to be dealing obviously these are the four best skill sets to go with here are the relics obviously when it comes down to the other two monsters queen thalassa with these skill sets relics obviously at our last trap being there for uh the stamina region or stamina region part yeah you can either do equilibrium staff or hand of atlantis or even like something like uh master staff would work uh when it comes down to runes on this monster double two team strength and one speed same with the other monster by the way two team strength and one speed uh these are the skill sets and the relics don't really matter really the only thing that really matters is the snitch brand and obviously the monster being there with those skill setup i do want to give a huge shout out to um mike i would say mike uh, monster master 611 i believe or is it or is 6111 uh i believe he was the one that actually came up with this setup if i'm not mistaken you guys can correct me in the comments uh, i'm pretty sure he was the one that actually like originally came up with a setup so uh i mean bunky had it set up and you know what i mean i had to, i had to make sure that this was uh, the right one so i went ahead and like checked around and did some research and you know what i mean this is uh basically the setup that almost every pro player is using right now so this is the setup you guys should be using um this is not the uh league eight though when it comes down to league eight that's when you're going to be doing so much damage so this setup is best used in league eight is what i'm trying to tell you guys okay so for those of you guys watching this video um 
this setup is mainly like it's supposed to be used for for league eight is what i'm trying to tell you guys so right now this is level four this is league eight uh sorry league four this is league four so they're in different levels obviously get to league eight and you're going to be dealing an insane amount of damage with obviously the setup uh so we're like four leagues away but yeah um once you get to that league trust me this is going to be the one this is going to be the one where you're going to be dealing like hundreds and millions of damage possibly billion i'm not sure um but yeah you're gonna be dealing a crazy amount of damage with this guy uh the reason why not we're not dealing as much damage right now is because obviously uh we're using him in league four and it's fire against earth which isn't much damage league eight monster i'm sure it's a it's a you know nature monster so you're gonna be dealing a crazy amount of damage especially with that nature hater i mean come on fire weakness all that good stuff you know what i mean that massive fire damage against the nature monster and that nature hater from his status caster yeah it's gonna be crazy because first of all you're pairing up a triple damage on top of another triple damage and then you're getting another triple damage from the freeze hater right and the guard down hater also is another thing so that's another triple damage so it just keeps on stacking up and overall you're, you're just like you're just stacking up everything and it's uh it's gonna be a, a good amount of damage but here we're just gonna once happen real quick this is like the final final battle uh i believe this is oh this is round three. Oh no okay so it looks like we're gonna have to go once more which is fine i mean i i got at least i got my gems back well some of it obviously a small percentage and then we're getting more gems now that uh, that we've defeated the fugitive monster obviously so let's see who uh who's gonna be next after uh league four for league five let's see who is actually gonna be uh the monster that we're gonna go up against so we got 50 gems back we're getting a bunch of hornivore cells and also uh coins as well um so i really like that but we're gonna move on to the next league this is going to be league five so we're a few leagues away from league eight and then yeah so that is going to be wasted well which is actually a nature monster so you're going to be dealing a good amount of damage against this one as well all right just got a notification for fugitive in the area so we're going to go ahead and quickly find this before this player steals it from us so this pointing this way pointing downwards got to be somewhere over here i'm assuming if it's pointing this way maybe it's somewhere down here okay so it's pointing downwards He's gonna go with that unfortunately it's a lucky shot but it is not the um fusion monster because we need the gems we need the gems i don't want this place to actually take it from me like uh he's got 25 points looks like i think he flipped all of his uh tiles if i'm not mistaken right i don't see any other colors besides white or maybe that's it. wait are those his no hmm what did he flip he just flipped all i don't know anyways so let me quickly find this before this player gets to all right pointing upwards it's got to be one of these two tiles oh it's right here then yeah there okay so we got our 25 gems which is nice uh we got 100 stamina this is a nature monster so we should be able to deal an insane amount of damage here uh against this monster so first battle didn't go too well let's see what happened we get mega freeze obviously okay uh he ends up attacking 43 million damage uh Imigbo's anniversary right on himself see not the other monster uh that <laughs> that torture is just annoying me i don't like that torture at all now it would have sucked if this monster was like a magic monster can you imagine if the bounty on exclusive was was a uh, magic monster that, uh 162 million is not bad but of course we could deal more yeah uh, the intoxication oh my gosh did you guys just see that okay okay i don't think you guys just seen that did you see it I mean, you guys probably seen it look at this wait for it 282 million damage right there one tap right now let's see what the next one's gonna be you guys ready let's see it's gonna be your turn he gets a turn in let's see the damage 290 million back to back that is insane how much damage was that overall let's go ahead and take a look at this 532 million all right so let's go ahead and fight again we should be able to one tap it here we got so many cells back to back because of the, the amount of damage we dealt and that is obviously a kill right there so if this is how much damage you're actually dealing against in each monster which is obviously this is what league five imagine league eight just imagine league eight you're gonna be dealing that extra two three hundred million back to back over and over we were just we, we basically just eliminated this monster within what three four battles that's pretty good the first battle didn't go so well obviously but the second and third back to back that was nice so we were able to deal a good amount of damage um i do want to take a look at what group i'm going to be in next like i mean not the group but like i want to see the monster why is it that why is it that element man all right so anyways this is this is league six same exact player i literally just carried this player uh that's fine what i'm gonna do though is actually um i think i'm gonna end the video here because 
honestly i just wanted to make this video to let you guys know what the best team is for league 8 or i guess even league 5 because i'm sure everybody has the same exact monster for league 5 right which is quest the monster that we just went up against uh but here's what i'm gonna do i'm actually gonna make another video very soon on uh this monster taking on league 8 so if you guys would like to see that just go ahead and uh drop a like and let me know in the comments down below and i'll go ahead and do that for you guys but anyways that's gonna basically sum it up for today's video this is the setup guys let me just go ahead and show you guys once more uh if you guys would like to go ahead and use it uh just go ahead and thank um mike and also bunky in the comments down below for it but that's gonna be pretty much it thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next one peace out